Hello and welcome to another StarCraft 2 beta commentary. I am your host Witty and this is a 2v2 on the map Lost Temple. It's a 2v2 AT, not 2v2 RT. The difference between the two is one AT is a ranged team, it means with a friend, and RT is random team, it means with a random ally who you don't know who you're going to get. So, on the first team we have Haley playing as the Red Zerg. As the blue team, where did he go? He's floating off to the right. What's all this about? It's Pracky playing as the Blue Terran. We'll find out about that soon. On the second team, we've got Panda playing as the Purple Terran. And Swaggy as the Teal Protoss. Well, well let's find out what on earth Pracky's doing. Looks like he's going to be landing on this little island part. Lost Temple has two islands. One at the top left and one at the bottom right. It means that only air units can get to it, so this is pretty effective. He loses a fair bit of resources at the start, but not too much, really. It's Terran buildings fly, it seems like they fly a lot faster in StarCraft 2 than they do in StarCraft 1, so this is actually fairly viable. If that was moving at, you know, a, to a turtle speed or something like that, then you're not going to get very far. But it's moving pretty down fast, so he can uh, do this. Now, why did he fly over here, you might be asking. Well, the reason why is because he plans to feed Haley. Now, this is going to be an effective strat because whilst uh, he can't do much at the moment, just gather all these resources, he can start feeding Haley lots and lots of resources in four minutes' time after the game starts. Oh, what's going on here? There's a little bit of harass. Oh, no. Prack is... <laughs> Brack is completely distracting Panda. Don't know what Panda's thinking. I think he's going to lose that SCV. Oh! That is so close. He's chasing him around. Is he going to get him? Is he? Will he? Won't he? Oh! No! Yep! Oh! There it goes. Well. Panda is now down one SCV. I think we can leave now. The game is now over. Thank you very much for watching. This has been... Wi oh, never mind, actually. I think we'll continue and see where we go. But Prack is doing a bit of harassing the SCVs whilst they're building, but he's not going to be able to get away with it much longer because the Marines are starting to come out. Scaring away that SCV. We can see Swagger is going for a double gateway here, so he's going to want to pump out quite a lot of Sellets, Stalkers, Sentries, what have you. And Haley is bringing up the Serglings. Let me explain this a little bit here, what Prack is doing. He's basically feeding Haley for the most part. I believe he will be making units or maybe mass air later. But after four minutes, you're allowed to um, feed an ally. By feeding, I mean send resources. And I mean mass resources. Like, Prack's job in this is just to mass resources and give them all to Haley, basically. That's what feeding is, in case you weren't sure. Oh no, Panda's not, he's not by the ramp, he should have been sitting by the ramp or closer to the cliff, that is bad, he's not reacted quick enough to these circlings. That was only say six or so circlings to three marines, and if he was by the ramp he could have possibly held them off with a good bit of micro, but he did not. This is not looking good for Panda, he's suffering more harass. The circlings are in his face, look at this. He needs to bring those SCVs, do something. No, I don't think... No, wait. Swaggy's coming to the rescue. Come on, Swaggy. Send your two sellers in the sentry to save Panda. They do need saving, that's for sure. But then again, is it worth it when they play this badly? Would you save a Panda that played this badly? I don't know. Maybe you feel pity for Panda. Save the Pandas, people. Please donate. Okay, we see lots of barracks going up with lots of tech labs, so that either means lots of reapers or lots of marauders. What's uh, going on over here, eh? Whoa, not even drones. You see that? So the feed is going off well. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, I'll mention quickly here. So you see the blue rings there? That is actually Pracky playing as these circlings, whilst Haley is actually controlling these circlings because it's got red rings around them. So that's one way to tell. So what they're doing is actually a very powerful strat. Is Pracky's just concentrating on feeding Haley, and they're just massing units basically. Didn't work too well there, but the harass is still going fairly well here. Just basically putting them off their gameplay whilst uh, 
Haley probably gets himself to some better units, hopefully. Don't think Sergon is going to cut it. But um, yeah, so one player is taking a certain amount of Serglings and harassing the Protoss, and the other player is taking the other a lot of Serglings and harassing the Terran. So this makes it easier for the both of them. Rather than Haley having to do all the hard work, he's only got to concentrate on 50% of it, which is great because that means he can get on with building spires and macroing properly. If he had to do play against two players all by himself, it's probably uh, likely he's going to lose a lot of his macro and uh, not perform very well. Here we can see lots of little circlings coming out. If you notice, they've got wings. Circlings don't actually come out with wings when they begin. The reason why they've got wings is because they have been upgraded. I can't show the upgrade, but it's here. But it basically increases their movement speed by, I think, something like 20%. So, when you get little research upgrades, Blizzard do a neat little thing here, and they give the units an extra pair of wings, or they give the Terran an extra shield, like they, carry, they start carrying a shield around, because they've got the 10 HP, extra 10 HP um, research upgraded. So these little circlings got their little wings, but they can't fly. Fly, you need to fly away from that, you ain't gonna beat that, that's for sure. So we can see Pracky is taking those little circlings around. Harassing. There's a creep going on down here. Let's generate creep, by the way. That's an ability that overlords get, I think, once uh, the Serg player is tech to lair. Here we can see the little uh, circlings have snuck right round. Look at this. Swaggy. Wake up. Oh, the muters are in play now. This is very bad. Look how many muters. Now this is why the feed works. You've just got to distract them, which is what Pracky and Haley were doing the whole game. Just distracting them, annoying them with the circlings. They didn't intend to win with the circlings. They just wanted to toy around with their enemies here. Because neither enemy has bothered to get an expansion due to the constant harassing of the little, little circlings. Look at them go. They're all down now though, but the constant harass has managed to buy Haley enough time to start massing out the muters. Now I'm a Protoss player and I hate muters. So I feel for these guys right now because I wouldn't want to have to deal with these muters at this point. But they don't have a choice. Let's see. Panda brings down a mule to get himself some resources but what good is it going to be when it's going to be dead? Oh dear. That was a good use of 50 energy right there. Need to see much faster reactions, but even if he does react fast, it doesn't matter. He's not got enough. Okay, I think you just saw what I just saw there. <laughs> Maybe he's gone blind in one eye or something, I don't know. Just <laughs> shut his own fespian gaze thing there. Never mind. Um, yeah. The enemies may have not been the best in the world, but you can uh, get a gist of the strat, which is effective strat, which uh, Haley and Pracky are working on at the moment to work their way up the ladder. So basically, Pracky gets the mass resources, sends them all to Haley, and then Haley eventually brings out the mass muters once they both do a little bit of harassing using Serglins, like some Serglins each. You can see Pracky's got those ones selected. So, um,. Yeah, it's pretty damn effective strat if you can uh, distract your enemies for long enough. But it all depends on whether they fall for it. Because they're going to think, hang on a second, I haven't even seen the blue Terran here. What's going on? Where is he? Why am I only seeing Serg Lin units? Serg units, why? So that's something you have to ask yourself if you come across this. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Witty. Signing off. Please subscribe, rate and comment.